Good morning. Welcome to our virtual service. My name is James Parker. Thank you for being here with us today. Well, let's get started. My lesson title today is Partners with God. Friends, what is a partner? A partner in the simplest form is a person who you share a relationship with in life or business. Think of your spouse as your partner in marriage or your friend as partners in, in life or a coworker as partners in a shared mission project or task for your employer. In business, you can also have a partner. And in business, this partner shares both the responsibility for the company's service, liabilities, and responsibilities, as well as the benefits of the company's assets, outcomes, and profits. Once upon a time, Taylor had a medium-sized kiosk at a shopping center. From his kiosk, he sold high-quality items better than others, slightly higher prices from others. But people paid it anyway because the quality was so good. Taylor's friends convinced him to open a store. He did. Same high quality merchandise. Prices need to be slightly higher because of the increased overhead. Now he wasn't doing as well. The customers weren't coming in the store. And those who did, those who did come in the store weren't buying. Taylor got very despondent. He was sure he had made a dreadful mistake by opening this door. He should have stuck to having his little kiosk. Oh, why did he stretch like this? He wallowed in his fear for a while, but then had the idea to take on a partner. Each morning, Taylor and his partner would sit down and make a list of what needed to be done and who would do it. Then at the end of the day, they would review the list together. Soon, business started to pick up. In fact, Taylor and his partner became very, very successful. So successful, you may have heard of the store, Lord and Taylor. Yes, when you have a partner, you are not on your own. You have someone to bounce ideas off of, to share the load with, to help support and strengthen you in the struggles, and also to share the celebrations with. It's nice to have human partners and human friends, but having God as a partner is a higher level of walking in partnership or relationships. Years ago, when I decided to partner with God in my life and business, things became infinitely more clear, fun, and successful. Life became easy. The checkbook balanced. Payments went out income came in. Relationships strengthened. I felt more energized and my mind was free of stress and anxiety. Partnering with God for a spiritual person is the only thing that makes sense in this three-dimensional world we are living in. Spirit will uplift you, strengthen you, comfort you, and disarm your fears. God is ready to give you the keys to the kingdom if only you will go within and seek to partner in the kingdom first. In Matthew 19, verse 26, Jesus said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Let's be very clear here. God is not an outside partner, but a partner from the inside, working through us when we become open to the possibility. Therefore, we must take God as our partner in all the things we do. And when the I in you can't, when the ego self tries to figure it out, tries to make it happen, tries to fix things, tries to manipulate and maneuver to get its way, turn away immediately and know that with God, all possibilities are open to you. Have you ever faced a situation for which you could see absolutely no answer? Perhaps it was a financial crisis that seemed insurmountable. Perhaps you lost a loved one and you couldn't imagine ever feeling whole again. Perhaps it was a relationship so torn with hurt, pain, and resentment that you couldn't see how it could ever possibly be mended. Perhaps it was a physical challenge that healthcare professionals had labeled incurable or unfixable. Or perhaps it was a dream so big that seemed overwhelmingly impossible. Those are the times to say, as Jesus said, I of myself can do nothing. It is the Father within me who doeth the work. 
When you are partners with the spirit within, and it seems like you can't, God can. When, when you are in fear and doubt, uncertainty and pain, when the challenge or the dream seems bigger than you are, and you can't figure it out, God can. Simply turn it over. Release it. Let God's wisdom and presence working through you handle it. What does partnering with God do? It opens a space in us to allow God's wisdom, love, creativity, and abundance to work through us, as us. God wants to share these principles with us for the unique situation we encounter every day. Yet working with God is much more than just applying principles. We must prioritize having a strong relationship with God. Orison Martin said, When you take God into partnership, when you are conscious that you are doing His work, you have a feeling of peace and security. You walk as one who sees a great light because you feel that you have a great partner, one with whom you cannot lose your way. You do not fear failure because you know that your divine partner is the very source of all supply. And you feel safe, reassured. You know that nothing can prevent your success as long as you and your partner are in harmony. You see, working together with God is a common thread throughout the Bible. We see it in the, in the work of Noah when God gave him the plans for the ark. And we see it with Joseph when God revealed how to prepare for the famine. God clearly partnered with his people throughout Scripture and wants to do the same today. It goes without saying that the work we partner with God in doing must be righteous and principled. But beyond that requirement, the Bible makes no other distinctions. It is the, it is the reason why we were created. As God's partners created in his image, we have the ability within us to create something to envision or dream of new things and pull them from our imagination into reality with our words and actions. We have the ability to have dominion and authority in all areas of our lives. As partners with God, we not only share in the responsibility, but we share in the benefits, the prosperity. We have the ability to sit at the creative table of God in our lives, our work, our families, and our business. We have the ability to speak into the, and provide input and to listen to what God is saying to us. We have access to greater wisdom and insight for matters related to life and business. We have the partnership advantage when God is our partner. Why? Because living a full, prosperous life in spirit, mind, and body requires partnership with God, the creator and source of all. Life takes on a whole new meaning and a higher power when we live in constant realization of our at one with our creator. Hmm. Here are the top reasons why your partnership with God is critical for living the abundant life. Number one, strength. The nearer you are to God, the greater your strength. Number two, power to create an event. A closer relationship and consciousness with God provides more power to create and invent because you draw upon the limitless resources of an unlimited God. Number three, wisdom. Your partnership with the God of infinite wisdom allows you to tap into the universal wisdom already surrounding you. Number four, hope. Realization of your divine partnership with God will enlarge your life and multiply your effectiveness with hope. It will take away feelings of hopelessness, uncertainty, and, and, and inability to overcome the storms of life. Number five, no fear. When you take God into full, complete partnership, you will not fear. Your life's ventures cannot end in disappointment. With God, we are led into abundant pastures, besides still waters, where we will fear no evil. Number six, success and happiness. To have real success requires taking God into partnership and lining up your purpose and ambitions with God's will and plan. 
When your career and life does not run counter to God's plan, but is in tune and contributes and benefits the world, your cooperation will bring true happiness and success. Number seven, love. Partnership with God requires walking in love. God is a God of love. And what is life without love? God tells us to do all things in love and that love never fails. Then, as we are told, all things work together for good. Number eight, peace. When you take God into partnership and you are conscious of doing spiritual service, you have a life of peace and security. With God's great light in your life, you can feel safe and reassured that you will not lose your way. You see, the fact is, with God as your partner, you will have a new zest in life to attain the higher things that are worthwhile and of eternal value. Working in harmony with God's, God allows you to inherit the best the universe has to offer, and you will enjoy a prosperous and abundant life. Swan Z said, man may rest in the eternal fitness. He may abide in the everlasting and roam from beginning to the end of all creation. He may bring his nature to a condition of one. He may nourish his strength. He may harmonize his virtue and so put himself in partnership with God. Friends, turning our problems, challenges, and big dreams over to God is a way to move out of the fear-based, mundane, closed-minded, lack and limited existence we sometimes find ourselves living in. Paul said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Have in you the mind that is in Christ Jesus. When your mind is positive, peaceful, and in alignment with the God in you, prosperous and healing energies flow through your whole being freely and abundantly. There's no mystery here, only the unfoldment of love and joy that comes from working with the Spirit of God in all your affairs. Begin today. Commit yourself 100% to a successful partnership with Spirit and watch as you, your, your, your world completely transforms. You will find yourself clothed in divine favor. Calmness and peacefulness will engulf your mind. You will experience a youthful exuberance and discover yourself enveloped in cheerfulness and laughter. Partner with God now. It will not only bring your life in, into an incredible existence, but also infill you with strength, power, and added energy. You will see, know, and taste a new life of abundance, success, and freedom. Friends, are you willing to do this with me today? Well, thank you all, and God bless you.